I'm Shada, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be doing pattern making or pattern painting. Now, if you've watched a lot of the channel videos, you may have seen a few printmaking tutorials where we did pattern printing. Um, using our printmaking supplies and today we're going to take those um, Those techniques and we're going to apply them, but we're going to be doing it on the page So we'll be using watercolors and gouache to paint some beautiful patterns Now you might be thinking why does Shada love pattern making so much? And there's a couple reasons that I sort of keep circling back to it in these tutorials and the main reason is that it really um, puts the focus on play and it brings the joy back to art. There's something about pattern making, you're focusing on color and shape and lines and texture. You're thinking about all the fun fundamentals of art and it gets you away from sort of focusing on all the more frustrating fundamentals of art like perspective or depth or the whole getting it right. Um, so it's a very joyful process and it also has a lot of real-life applications. Once you've created these patterns, there's a whole lot of uses for them. And we'll get to that in future videos. For today, we're going to get out our gouache and our watercolors and have some fun painting. So let's get started. So to begin, I'm going to be painting in gouache. And gouache is a high opacity watercolor medium. So this paint cleans up with water and it's very, very opaque, which means it's hard to see through. Um, and when I take it out of the tube, you can see it's the consistency of toothpaste. And then you need to mix in water. You can't paint with it just as it is. It'll be too thick. So you're going to mix in a whole bunch of water until you get it the consistency of about a tomato soup. And it's pretty amazing because it's going to be much thinner, but it's still going to be very, very opaque. So gouache is really fun to work with. Now here I'm starting to paint on my cardstock and I'm trying to think of a pattern that I can make using one color and one shape. So obviously I'm doing black and lines. <laughs> um, so quite simple, but you can see already this pattern emerging is pretty cool. It's graphic, it's punchy, it would look cool on, I don't know, like some streetwear t-shirt or tea towel, <laughs> streetwear tea towel. So I'm just trying to think, what can I make that would look cool and I want a pattern to emerge? And I'm just sort of getting started here with one shape, one color. So I'm gonna set that aside and let it dry. And now I'm mixing up a nice ultramarine uh, blue in my gouache. And this time I'm going to try to do a pattern that is made up of still one color, but two shapes. So I'm starting out with these little ovals and I didn't plan any of this ahead of time. So I just sat down with my paints and the camera on and I challenged myself to make some patterns. And it's a really fun challenge and there's no getting it wrong. It really is just about, um, you know, trying to get those creative juices going. And I don't know if this was my most successful pattern, but I was just trying something and you can never go wrong when you're experimenting. All right, so I'm gonna set that one aside and now I've got a piece of gray cardstock here and I'm gonna try creating a pattern that is made up of two colors and two shapes. And um, in my beautiful light teal, I am painting some sort of abstracted flowers. So I'm gonna do an organic shape this time as opposed to um, a more geometric shape or line. Um, and you guys know how much I love painting flowers, so this is a very um, natural progression for me. Kind of doing these pop arty flowers I think will create a pattern that I would really like and I would really want to have in my home. And hopefully one day we'll get to, to the point where we're screen printing some of these patterns onto fabrics and, I don't know, designing our own textiles or something. <laughs> All right, so anyways, I've got my blue flowers there. I'm gonna set that aside. Then through the magic of YouTube, <laughs> it is dry. It just had to sit for about 15 minutes. I'm mixing up a very bright, almost chartreuse yellow. And um, I'm just adding three dots to each flower. So quite simple, um, these shapes, and I can kind of place them wherever I want. And that makes the pattern really whimsical and fun and, and kind of, um, maybe a little bit modern as well. 
And then I decided I needed something a little more to sort of fill in. So I went back and just added a few yellow circles. And that's my pattern with two shapes and two colors. Now here you can see I'm making another uh, graphic black because I just loved that first one. But this time I'm gonna do two shapes, two colors. So I'm adding these fun light pink hearts and you can just see how much that changes that initial pattern. And this is sort of the fun of getting the paints out and not worrying and just trying things is that you never know what you're gonna come up with. When you're painting your patterns, try to take yourself back to being a kid in art class in kindergarten. Don't worry about getting it right and certainly don't worry about making it pretty. You can create a pattern that's funky, a pattern that is really tiny. You can create a pattern that is new and modern or maybe one that's even ugly and weird. You can design a pattern that is familiar and known, maybe even on the verge of being boring. You can create a pattern that you've seen a million times before. You might take those familiar patterns and do something totally new and different and creative, or you might just keep them the exact same. It doesn't matter. It's just about having fun and taking joy in the materials. I'm going to end today's video by showing you a watercolor piece that I did. Um, here I've just got a small piece of watercolor paper. So I'm going to paint a pattern that's made up of all organic shapes. I'm painting about five or six different leaf designs and I'm just sort of putting them together, you know, trying to make them flow. It doesn't really matter where I put things. There's not a lot of rhythm or order to this. I'm just trying to make it look nice and just sort of seeing what emerges as I paint. I hope you guys will give pattern painting a try because there really are so many wonderful real life applications for this craft and we'll get to those in future videos. Thanks so much for watching guys and please don't hesitate to subscribe and like if you enjoyed today's video.